Hey everyone, in today's tutorial we will be learning how to create a custom health bar that we can add to our game. So if we just test this out real quickly, uh, if I find my humanoid here in the workspace and just change my health, you can see that the UI, we have a bar here that will move up and down um, depending on how much health you have and we have a text label here which will update the text on the screen based on how much health you have. So every time we update our humanoid's health, this UI will also update. So to get things started, I'm just gonna point out that I've already pre-designed the UI for this um, tutorial. So if you'd like to download the asset, check out the description and there'll be a link down there. Um, I, I didn't want to design it in the, in the tutorial just to save some time. So yeah, so you guys can download the UI in the description or you can design your own as long as it's laid out the same as the one we have here. So let's add a script to our uh, health bar UI here. And we can remove the hello world, we don't need that. And so let's get started. So let's talk about what we need to do for this script. So we need to detect when our character um, has their health changed so that we can update our UI so we can move our bar and also change the amount on our UI. So to do that, first we need to kind of, we need to get um, our humanoid, which is where we will detect these changes. So we can do that by importing the player service here. And then we can get our local player, which will be players, that should be players with an S. And we can get the local player and then the character will just be the local player dot character. And then and now that we have the character, we can get our humanoid which will be character, and then we're just gonna wait for child humanoid. All right, so we have our humanoid here now. So what is next is we need to listen for when our humanoid is actually changed, like their health has changed so that we can update our UI. So we can do that actually fairly easily here with humanoid.health changed, connect. And then we are gonna call the update UI function. So let's just create that function up here really quickly. All right, so in this function this is where we're going to actually update our UI. So let's declare a few variables here. So we want to get our main frame, which will be script.parent.main. We want to get our bar, which will be main.bar. And we want to get our mounted text label which will be main.amount. So when we update our UI, we want to get the humanoid's current health. So we can do that by doing humanoid.health in here. We want to get the humanoid's max health. And then we want to update the bar size accordingly. So bar.size, and we can use the from scale constructor here. So we're going to just divide current health by max health and set the height to one. So when we use this um, from scale constructor in the udim2 value, what we're doing is we're defining a percentage here from zero to one where zero is 0% zero and one is 100% of the size. So by doing this simple uh, division here, we can determine um, a percentage of health that we should show in the UI. So if, if our health is 100 and our max health is 100, this division here will give us one, which will be 100% the size. If our health is 50 and their max health is 100, they'll be 50% the size. And that's how we can size our bar accordingly. Um, for our amount bar or amount text, sorry, we're just going to set the text to math.floor current health. So we're using math.floor here because if current health is a decimal, we want to round that down um, to be like a normal integer so it doesn't look weird in the UI. So that's so this will work now, but there's one other thing we want to do. So we also want to call our update UI function um, down here to initialize it. Just so you know, if you spawn in with a humanoid that has 300 health, um, that the UI won't show that until your health is changed. Um, but we can we can change that or we, we can set it ourselves by just calling the function when the script first runs. And it just knows a little typo here. Uh, we should have an H after health there. 
All right, so let's test the script out. So let's head into studio and test it. So we get no errors, which is always a great thing. And if we find our character here in the Explorer and subtract some health, we can see that our UI is updating, our bar is moving, the number is changing. And if we respawn, we should see this UI pop back up to 100. So there you go, you've just created a custom health bar for your game. So you can position this wherever you want, size it however you want, change the colors, change the font. Um, yeah, let your heart <laughs> let your heart out. Um, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you head over to our Discord channel, uh, Discord server, sorry, and we can help you there. If you'd like to download these assets, check out the description. If you'd like, if you'd like more videos like this, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And I hope you guys have a great day.